Guys, I just heard some news that if you actually drop a like on this video right now, the chances of you getting a Mega Knight on the first day that it comes out are going to be really, really high. You will have a 90% chance of getting the Mega Knight on the first day of the card actually releases. And yes, the Mega Knight is the new legendary card which will come to Clash Royale very soon. So if you want luck to just, I don't know, just get him straight away right when he drops so you can use him before anyone else and win a bunch of battles with him, make sure to smash a like on today's video, go down there, make the button go blue and then comment down below I want the Mega Knight and then I guarantee you guys when it comes out you will get him really really early however if you do not like this video I don't really think that you'll actually have a chance of getting the Mega Knight ever so yeah I wouldn't really blow this opportunity this is your guys' chance also I do want to say that I made a video yesterday that didn't actually hit sub boxes very well so basically I made a video on six cards that were changed since the beginning of Clash Royale and in that video I mentioned some really really interesting points that not many people know about at all I showed how cards actually look like in the early stages of Clash Royale before anyone else seen them and before Supercell changed them and comparing them to the Clash Royale cards that we see nowadays and their updated forms. If you are interested in this, I will leave a link to this video in the description below or you could just find it on my channel. So I'd appreciate if you went over to that video, spammed it with likes and comments and then enjoy today's video. What's up guys and welcome back to another Clash Royale top listing video. And in today's video, we will be taking a look at 7 secret things that you probably didn't know about the rage spell in Clash Royale. All these seven facts about the rage spell are pretty interesting so make sure to stick around as you could potentially learn something new and also learn as a new experience for the rage spell in Clash Royale. So if you would like to support this video make sure to go down there and smash the like button let's try and aim for 3000 likes on today's video and without further ado let's begin the list. Number 1. The Rage Spell doesn't boost damage, but only speed. In other words, the Rage Spell is basically like a haste spell from Clash of Clans. As most of you know, in Clash of Clans, the Rage Spell actually does increase troop firepower, damage, and speed. But in the Clash Royale version of the Rage Spell, the Rage Spell only increases the rapidness and the pace of the troops, making them attack faster and run faster, basically move faster in general, but it doesn't actually increase their damage like it would in Clash of Clans. And the reason why I say this is basically a haste spell is because in Clash of Clans there is a haste spell and basically all this does is the same as the rage spell in Clash Royale which is basically just improve the speed of the troops aka making them move faster and attack faster. So for those new players to Clash Royale you probably didn't know this but the rage actually doesn't increase your damage on the towers it only makes your troops attack faster. Number 2 the rage spell used to be 3 elixir. So if you were an OG Clash Royale player and you used the rage spell a lot you will know that the rage spell was actually 3 elixir back in the Clash Royale days before they decided decided to do a balance change and make it to elixir. The reason for them decreasing the rage spells elixir was because of the low usage rate of the rage spell. Supercell thought that this was a unique card that needed to be used more in the metas. So knowing that not that many people were actually using this rage spell card, they decided to drop one elixir just to make people think that it is really cheap and valuable for its worth. And that actually did spark a lot of controversy, a lot of more people were using the rage spells in their top decks and it was one of the most used cards straight after the balance change. Number 3. the rage Rage Spell's card image got secretly changed. Now this morning, on a Peggot Studios website, which I will leave a link to in the description below, I noticed that they made a post about how cards used to look like back in the olden days in the very very first stages of Clash Royale. I saw this image of the Rage Spell on the post and I actually have never seen this image before, so I decided to share this with you guys. As this is very very fresh new information, this Rage Spell has never been seen before in any game files or leaks. But as you can see, the Rage Spell does look a bit different, it has a lot more orbs glowing patterns and other things that we don't usually see in today's rage spell. However, I do really like the design and think that Supercell should have sticked with that old design. Number 4. It is the second largest potion spell radius and the second largest spell radius. If you guys did not know, the rage spell is actually the largest potion spell for its radius. By this I mean all the potion spells like lightning, freeze, rage, clone, heal and everything along those lines. Basically spells that are in bottles. It carries a 5 tile radius making it really really useful for high damage or attack troops because if you're planning a really big push if you want as many troops in the rage spell as possible you can just place the rage spell there on top of all the troops and it will become the most useful spell ever dealing a lot of damage especially if all of your troops are boosted and they're doing a lot of damage already to the tower because it's obviously going to make them attack faster making the enemy's tower demolished it is also the second largest spell in the game after the tornado the tornado's tile radius is actually 5.5 so just a little bit more than the rage spell but however the rage spell still carries a 
5 tile radius which is more than any other potion spell and it's just one of the greatest radiuses ever. Number 5. The rage spell can 3 crown with clone spells, heal spells and a goblin barrel. Yes guys you heard me right, the rage spell can actually 3 crown to take out the entire king tower of your opponent if you actually place down a goblin barrel, clone the goblin barrel, heal the goblin barrel and also rage it. So yes you do need a lot of elixir. If for example this was in 2v2 it would be a lot easier for your teammates to both do this as you both have a lot amount of elixir. Some players can actually get caught off guard by this trick really easily and not see it coming, making this a perfect troll deck and also a very very effective way to win your battles. Number 6. The Rage Spell makes troops voices higher pitched. If you actually place the Rage Spell on some of your cards, most of the cards, your cards voices when they actually hit an attack will actually go higher pitched. For example, if you place a horde of barbarians down on a tower and rage them up, they will usually make a groaning sound, however it is usually deep, but if you place the Rage Spell however, their voices sound like chipmunks and it's kind of funny. It also works with such as the Electro Wizard, Valkyrie, Wizards, Archers, you name it, the Rage Spell can make their voice higher pitched most likely. Number 7. It is useful for troll decks with the graveyard as you can hide the spell on top of it without giving it away. If you guys didn't know, the graveyard and the Rage Spell actually have the same radius which is 5 tiles. If you also notice, the graveyard and the Rage Spell have the same spell color. So basically, if you're planning to do a troll deck to try and win some battles, you can easily get the graveyard in your deck at once with the Rage Spell. When you actually place the graveyard on top of the tower, make sure you place the Rage Spell exactly on top of the graveyard and it will be really really difficult for the opponent to see because both spells are purple they both have the same radius so nothing will be sticking out or looking too obvious and the graveyard skeletons will actually be raged up and hit a lot faster on the tower making your opponent really really stunned and not know what to do next a lot of people use this when the graveyard just came out and a lot of people were actually getting a lot of trophies from this so nowadays if you're still trying to get your trophies up and you're a low level make sure to try this strategy out and you will get a mass amount of trophies within no time and just just like that guys, that's going to wrap up today's video on 7 things that you most likely didn't know about the rage spell in Clash Royale. Remember to smash a like on this video to support, you guys might not think that it does, but every one of your guys' likes matters to me, as it inspires me to make better content for you guys. Also, I want to thank you guys so much for the support recently. Before when I started uploading these videos, I really wasn't motivated to make Clash Royale videos. In fact, I kind of felt like I didn't like Clash Royale videos as a whole, but now I finally am happy to be back and creating content for you guys that you guys guys love to watch. I want to thank every single one of you individually for subscribing every day, liking my videos, commenting and just joining the family. So thank you guys for this opportunity and hopefully we can grow bigger and stronger towards the future. So thank you all for watching today's video one last time and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.
Get back.